What is up guys, it's Matt here and welcome back to another episode. We recently hit 10,000 subscribers and that is like insane to me that 10,000 of you guys wanted to watch my videos. So uh, first off, thank you so much for that. So for our first video after 10,000 subscribers, I ordered a couple of these traps. These came from Amazon. You gotta be careful cutting into this thing. They're made of literally like a screen door material, I think. Now, do I think that these are gonna work? Uh, yeah, I do think they're gonna work, but do I also think that they're gonna fall apart after the first use? Yes, I do also think that. Let's see how easy this is gonna be to set up. I can already tell that this uh, webbing net material, screen material, it's not like a, a screen door or something, but it's definitely really flimsy, I can already tell. Oh, okay, this thing's literally got a little clicker on it. It's like a legit, like an umbrella. I thought they just called it an umbrella trap because it looks like it. Yeah, so that literally clicks in, and I guess to declapse them. Whoa. Yeah, just like that, and then it goes back down to being nice and portable. I'll give them that. It definitely seems like a portable trap, but this stuff's really flimsy. I got a feeling that we're going to break this thing after the first outing. Okay, I brought this down here just to show it a little bit better because it's so dang big it doesn't even fit on the table. Literally, you just pull this thing, seats right in there and the traps open. All the holes that they can get into are now open. I think there's one, two, three, four, five, six holes and then a little bait bag in the center that we probably won't use because I'm gonna pack this thing full of bait. I did wanna show you guys the listing for the trap here just so you guys could uh, get the same enjoyment I did thinking that this trap's gonna do pretty much anything for us. It says that it's a two-pack portable folded fishing net, fish shrimp minnow, crayfish crab baits, cast mesh trap automatic. Easy use hexagon six hole cage crab fish minnow crawdad shrimp six side six hole trap. And it's got a lot of pictures of especially crawdads which is what we're after today but uh, minnows, crabs, and shrimp and everything on it. So I don't see how this trap couldn't do anything but excellence for us. All right guys, we are down here at the water. As you can see, I got a bucket with the traps in it here. There goes the other one. We also got our bait down in there. I do like the ease of uh, setup on these traps, so I will say that. It definitely goes from pretty much nothing to a full, you know, full trap pretty quick. With that said, literally, I just pull this, it sets in, and there we have it. A giant, probably, it's gotta be like three feet across trap, ready to rock and roll. And how I'm gonna attach it here is just by using this little regular uh, G's minnow trap clip to the top of it. I'm just gonna go right through there and attach it like that. I figured that was probably the easiest way and I know that nothing could really chew through this. All right, I got the line ready. I'm gonna put a bunch of bait in here, probably two of those big, big pogies. And I found a nice piece of uh, pretty level shoreline for this trap. It definitely needs to sit level because otherwise they'll just get up underneath it and then feed from the bottom. So it uh, definitely needs to be level so that they can go in through the holes properly. And these are the pogies. A friend of mine saved a couple for me from the ocean this year. These are giant oily bait fish that uh, these crayfish will definitely love these. Pretty sure I'll just be able to slide it right, yeah, just like that, right through the side. I'm not putting it in the bait bag, obviously, because that fish is about three times the size of the bait bag. And if I can break up one more, Nice frozen solid so they won't fall apart right away. They're already a lot of weight in the trap. You can feel just the uh, heaviness of just these is enough to bend this thing in. So hopefully we're able to pull this tomorrow and it doesn't break. The second one's rigged up the same. Uh, they're still frozen. There we go. Two giant baits. Hopefully the uh, skin and the frozenness of these things will give the crayfish something to have to work through. It is really warm out today so they might just chew through it really quick. the trap out in the water right there there's a ton of minnows down there checking out the trap right now and uh, I think we're gonna get a lot of crayfish all right guys we're down here and it's the next morning 
looks like both the traps are still here. I brought two buckets this morning just in case there are any uh, horn powder minnows inside of the traps. I don't want to obviously kill them, so I figured I could bring uh, two buckets and I'll sort them in one and then throw the crayfish into the other. All right, we got trap number one here. I'm just going to try and pull it in and hope that it doesn't uh, fall over on us. Oh, there's crayfish all over the outside of it. Oh, no. Oh. Well, something tore into this trap. There's a crayfish right there on the outside. Dang it. Oh, there's a couple fish in there. That's a bummer. I hope that our other trap isn't totally ripped in half. Get the little fish back. Got another crayfish. Well, that's quite frustrating. Literally, this trap has about a, a foot, two foot hole in it. Right down the side. I knew that they were like, not really sturdy traps, but Come on. <sighs> we probably got, I don't know, a dozen dozen crayfish or so out of that first one. They were all over the outside. I guarantee you we would have had a ton more if the trap wasn't just open to the uh, open to the rest of the lake. Here's what they did to the the pogey, the bait fish here. There were two pogies in there, so I'm not sure where the other one ended up, but they definitely ate on this one pretty good. All right, we got trap number two here. Hopefully this one's a little bit heavier. I could tell that that last one is really light when I started pulling on it. Giant freaking hole. And a couple minnows. Well, I guess that tells you. Well guys, out of the two traps, which are obviously at this point just going to be put in the trash when we get home because they're so full of holes, I'd say we got about uh, 10, 15 maybe, I I'm not really even sure, less than 20 crayfish out of the two. I guarantee if these traps would have stuck together, they probably would have had a couple hundred, maybe in each of them, just because of the design of the trap, but they're just so flimsy and weak that it it's just not going to work. So I'd say save your money guys. Don't even waste your money on these traps. The, if there's a turtle or a horn powder or something that could even have the potential to dig through this thing, it gets through it like butter. So <sighs> that's a bummer. I got the traps back at the house here and I was thinking of scrapping this video, but I think I'm gonna post it anyways. Cause uh, just to show how bad these traps are, as you can see, this one's got a huge bunch of holes actually down the side of it. And this one has a giant hole right through the top there. And also, I just realized that these things are already rusting out. These little uh, connections here, you can see the rust on that one. So, after one night in fresh water, <laughs> these traps have pretty much had enough. I think, like I said, it was a turtle that got into it. But either way, uh, they're just junk. Thank you so much for watching, guys.